Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And for today's video, I thought that it has been a very long time since it was just me, you, working on the Scirocco. We are going back to basics and hopefully we are going to be changing these speakers and these speakers in the back. The speakers right now are okay on the car. They are, they're okay. You know, when I'm heading to preschool, I, I mean McDonald's, and I'm dancing away, it's pretty all right. But they are lacking a bit of oomph. You know what I mean? Oomph. The weapon of choice today is actually the Kenwood KFCs, and we've got two sets of these, one for the front and one for the back. My guys over at Kenwood really called their speakers the KFC. <laughs> These better be finger licking good or else I'm going to kick off, you know what I'm saying? Alright then guys, so just before we install the Kenwood KFCs to the car, I would like to tell you about an incredible service that I always use. And what is that service, Michael? That service is Car Vertical. Car Vertical is actually a used car history checker. Honestly, Car Vertical should be called Sherlock Holmes. It is crazy powerful. <laughs> Before I actually bought Chloe Citroen, I used this exact same service to make sure I was happy with the purchase I was making, knowing that no information was being hidden from me. I am so happy. <laughs> it checks information from a variety of sources, including insurance companies, car manufacturers, sales websites, car crash auctions, and car maintenance databases. If we have a look at Chloe Citroen C1 report, we can see that it gives us no warnings that there has been any mileage tampers, as you can see that there are no dips, no theft reports, it hasn't been used as a taxi, and there are no accident reports, which is good. If the car had been in an accident though, Car Vertical would show where the damage is and pictures of the damage like this. What I really like is it gives us the MOT result and advisory so I know what may need replacing. Now, if you guys are in the market for used cars, or even if you want to use it on your own car that you have now, I actually used this on my Scirocco, and luckily there was no problem Problems found. You can see ticks all around. Lovely. If you are interested, click the link in the description and you will specifically receive 10% off your report. Anyway, guys, let's get back outside and install these Kenwood KFCs. This box is actually uh, empty. Can't lie. <laughs> but let's go. Look at this. The Asian blood in me has got me straight to work with no hassle. When watching this little uh, time lapse, please do not think that this door card came off within 10 seconds. It came off more. more, more Something more like 40 minutes. There was a lot of swearing, a lot of cuts, and a lot of bruises. Finally! I finally got the door cut off. That took way too fucking long. Like, the clips that hold this motherfucker in are stronger than bloody, like, Hulk. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I had to... I was fighting with the door for dear love, fam. Pretty much right here is the speaker. I think we're just gonna unclip like this. And pretty much, if you're ever doing a speak system or wiring, obviously you don't wanna be messing with the wires. To make it easier for yourself, go online, find yourself an adapter for the speakers, and pretty much I've got one right here. This one will go into here, and then these two connectors will go onto the new speaker. Simple. And But uh, this is what I'm telling you. It's fucking granny knickers. Soiled granny knickers. Mate, she had shit in there and she hasn't cleaned it. What? This is the new Kenwood system. It looks so much better and it's a different material and it's magnetic. So we've got a, a set of screws right here. Boom, bitch. Drill, drill, drill. Wow. Now, pretty much, these are what these little bolts are. Now it's loose. Then we've got to do four more right here. More drilling. More drilling, like I did to your mom. Right, so this is literally the most DIY setup you've ever seen. Over here, we've got our beautiful setup. So we've got a soldering iron right here. This is like £10 eBay or something. And then we've got also a heat shrink. Shout out DT in year 10. Usually, you'd actually just put these on, you know, just loosely. 
uh, because they don't actually need to be soldered on, but because I never want to go back in because they get loose, I'm just going to solder them on. It don't take a lot of time, so. Oof, <coughs> I shouldn't be breathing up. <laughs> well, that's negative done. And today, just like that, they are now not going nowhere. Now, we can even plug them in, to see if they work. Well, it's fucking working, so there you go. The next thing I did was put on the adapter to hold the speaker. Right, so I've cracked straight on, guys, and look at this. It is now all mounted up and pretty much it's all connected up. All we need to do is screw in these four screws. So we've got one, two, three, four. But there we have it. There is the finished product of the new speakers. <laughs> I then moved on to the driver's side door panel and pretty much this was such a simple process because I knew where all the clips were. Basically a fucking expert at this point. So it really did only take me like five minutes to get the whole door card off and maybe half an hour to change the whole speakers and everything. It was a really quick process. Everything is now on. All the trims and everything are now on and... It's just you and me, baby. I ain't no uh, speaker specialist, but apparently with new speakers, you're meant to like bed them in. So basically, you're not meant to absolutely blast them. <laughs> apparently, they even get better over time, which is, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> Sound like just a dog. Sounds like your mum. <laughs> I'm going to play one of my banger tunes that's copyrighted. And then you guys can see my reaction. Pretty much, I'm just gonna play a little bit of tunes and you guys can see my facial expressions, whether it's. or. <laughs> no! Oh! Oh! Just like with the corset. It, it feels louder. It feels like I have to turn up the volume tiny amounts to get it loud now. What the fuck? Diggity wasted. Play this in your car if you're going out for a night drive and fucking hell. You'll be flying around the roundabout. It's very bassy now. Fuck it, let's go on a drive. I don't give a shit. Oh my god. The bass. The bass, guys. The bass was good on the stock speakers, right? I gotta give props to Volkswagen. Not that they need it from a little boy like me, a little Asian boy like me. But these make the bass incredibly, like, punchy. Wow. That's all I could, that's my first impressions of those speakers. Now on to the rear seats. Basically, if we come in here, we are all tinted out. Look, people can't see in the back seat. That's why I love it. Look, look at that. Hold on. You cannot see anything in there. Mate, the, the back seat is where you want to be when you're whipping in my car. I could, I could be butt naked right now and nobody would even fucking know. One thing I would recommend everybody if they're going to do speakers, this is kind of the main point of the video to, you know, encourage people to do them. It is gloves. Hold on, let me go get them. Watch. Just like that. Pretty much these plastics can pinch the fuck out of you. Make sure you're wearing gloves. <laughs> Door card is now as loose as my bum hole. Door card is now loose. Now we need to basically disconnect all of the different things, such as the tweeter. Weight reduction, bro. I got the fucking rear seat out. <laughs> I don't know if this is very interesting to some people, but here is, you know, what it's like now. There is the old shitty speaker, and that is what we are going to be replacing today for some new juicy ones. I don't know if that's the same size as the front, but hopefully it works the same way. Thank you too much. We're going to disconnect the speaker first, let's say. Three more to go, and then we can pull the speaker out. Ah. <laughs> out of there. Next up is the mounting bracket, just like this. This will basically house... Where's the speaker? Where the fuck is the speaker? These little bits. They got four screws there, so... Look at how beautiful that is. 
That's a fucking speaker for fuck's sake. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. All done. Looking beautiful. Got is wrapped in a nice little warm blanket so it don't get cold in the winter. But pretty much there you go. Just tiny little bit of sand added in. Don't know if it'll make a difference, but this one is now completely done. It's soldered on. Now all we need to do is this one. Um just the same process. So far, so good. You beautiful people. Let's do a little sexy montage to do this last one. Um, let me just quickly get off the door car because that's the boring bit and then we'll sort out the speakers. literally what like so many hours of trying to get this car back together which was the hardest part what oh my god jesus that's loud after like four hours of trying to get this car back together i sawed off the fixings to get this car back together which you shouldn't do but i was just fed up finally got everything back together and it's looking sweet so look the door cards are finally back on trust me if you're doing this to a Shroco, don't! This door card, literally, there's one little square, like, fixing thing that goes into a hole, like a penis. And Jesus Christ, I just could not get it in for dear life. So, literally, I sawed off, off, like, a little bit of it, and then it went in literally perfect. So, literally, that was the one that thing that caused me to harm. I also forgot to mention, I actually had to take off multiple pieces of trims so that this all went back together. If I did not saw that bloody thing off, this car would be set alight. I was pissed off. Like, I, you know, like when you see like a toddler or, you know, a Karen in public freaking out. I was freaking out in my car. I was like, Oof. But yeah, it's time to hear, right, if the back speakers did anything. Is, is it worth it, basically? Once I get onto the main road, we'll give it a little blast. Obviously, you guys can't hear because I've got to get the full experience of copyright music. Let's hear some music. Many bitches want to be my baby. Oh, oh my. Bruv. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good I'm fucking choking. They're crispy clean. You almost don't need it. I was blasting it there. Piercingly loud. I don't know if the speakers in the back have added or anything, but it is loud in here. Nah, they're sick. They're fully it's like it's like I put my office speakers into my car, but with a sub in. Absolutely sick. There's like no rattling at all. For anyone wondering, these are actually my office speakers right here. I got one set there. I ignore the mess. They're nothing special, but they do sound pretty sexy. Hello. Right, a couple days later, and I've actually been, you know, listening to the speakers and stuff. I've been blasting my way through uh, town, playing Barbie Girl. I can't honestly tell if the rear speakers make much of a difference but in general the whole system i know there's going to be some uh musical speaker experts playing i bet you there's not much difference you can't get much difference on this amplifier because you need a new head unit blah 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 shut up yeah they just sound very they sound a lot louder and when you get to the max volume your ears are bleeding so i don't know why that particularly is i don't know if the uh, stock speaker will under powered or whatever but <clears throat> the new speakers they're crispy clear i definitely recommend the kenwood kfc's that they, they were so crispy clear that i had turned down the treble which is like i don't know what what it is and i turned up the bass because i've got it on the perfect settings now let's go sit in the car we'll take one last look around i would show you the outside of the car but the next video is actually the respray i'll talk more about it downstairs <laughs> So pretty much the new resprayed alloys are on the car right now, so I can't show you, but we're gonna hop in. Oh. Nah. show you the outside of the alloys because the new resprayed wheels 
are on the car now. <clears throat> they look saucy. Hopefully you guys are going to like it. And if you still, you guys still don't like it at the end of this, I'm going to keep them on for at least a month or two. But if you guys still don't like them, I'm going to buy a new set of alloys just for you guys and you can choose them. I will still get them in the colour that I chose because they look sick in this colour. Let me actually turn on the speakers and let me plug in my phone. And let me quickly play some non copyright music so that you guys can hear potentially kind of how it sounds through this camera and right ready listen to this pretty nice and guys honestly the bass on these they're so it like I feel it. I've had some cool speakers, uh, like home speakers, in my time, and I, you know when like the air pushes it out, like I can feel the fucking air coming out the speaker there, like when the bass hits. Basically, I I've just gassed with these speakers. They sound incredible. Let me play another one. Maybe some classical. If I ever get a new system for the... Oh, jeez, I just fell in the car. If I ever get a new system for the car, I want lights in there. Lights in there. I want it to be like a see-through, mate. It's going to be sick. And pretty much that was the speaker install for the Scirocco. And pretty much, yeah, that's just a little, little modification uh, for the car. Super gas with it. I literally... It taught me a lot about how to put my car back together, how to take it apart, because, you know, I've never taken off these door cars before. Definitely let me know if you guys are going to try this out. I know a lot of people work on their cars who watch the channel, but for the people who just watch it and don't work on their car, definitely buy a set of speakers for your car and just get into working on the car. It's sick. Unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Follow me on Instagram at the Scott and stuff. The Scirocco is coming together. Slowly but surely, I always tell you guys, slowly but surely, we will build this car together. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see the faces in the next video. Bye.